Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been keeping well and that you are continuing to thrive as you evolve on your spiritual path. Right, so today I'd like to talk to you guys about how to set up an altar to a specific deity that you are interested in working with. So for this example, I'm using the two demonesses known as Lilith and Namar so that I can demonstrate to you guys what type of offerings you can give them and just the basic elements needed when setting up an altar. So with Lilith and Namar, both of them are clopothic demonesses and they are a great representation of the divine feminine energies so with these two, the offerings I've decided to give them include wine, as you can see in the middle here, black candles representing the fire element, incense, as you can see over here, representing the air element. And by the way, the incense I'm giving them is called black magic, as you can see there in the background. And the reason why I chose black magic, because duh, these are two demonesses and they deal heavily with the dark arts you know they are great demonesses to work with if you want to improve your dark arts your black magic etc so why not give them incense literally called black magic <laughs> i've even put a red bottom heel in the middle of the two picture frames now it's not a real red bottom heel but I used it to in order to represent that bad B energy, if you know what I mean, ladies. I've also decided to put a cauldron there to my right, filled with money, because bad bees love money, right? And then also have some black nail polish, as you can see over there. Red lipstick, because, I mean... Red lipstick is very fiery in nature, very sexual in nature. My credit card is there in the background. As I said, bad bees love money, right? And then I've got some sage over here and some books. A book called Earth Magic because Namar is the ruler of uh, the spear of Lilith. And it represents the dark side of the earth um, element, right? And then I've got, of course, a Kabbalah book to my left over here. So this is my basic setup for Lilith and Namar, which are two amazing demonesses to work with. And what you want to do when creating your altar, guys, is that you want to personalize it. Yes, so there are some people that draw like artwork and then they give it as offerings to the deities. They may put their artwork on the altar and that's amazing. Or they may give the deity specific wines or specific alcohols, right? And that's amazing. I feel like when you personalize your offerings to the deities, you develop even more of an intimate connection with them, right? I mean, have fun with it. It's your altar. Put on there what you feel they would like. You don't have to be super serious and literally go by everything in the book. You know, there's so many books with so many um, offerings for specific entities. And, you know, at the end of the day, you also want to add in your own personal touch to your altar. Can you imagine if every single person on the earth had the exact same altar for the exact same entities that they're working with. I mean, how boring would that be, right? So make sure to put your own personal touch to your altar. Have fun with it. Really, it is, it's really fun setting up an altar and uh, developing a relationship with whatever deity entity that you're working with. So yeah, and also you don't have to buy super crazy expensive things. Even if you only have a tea light candle and... Um, some incense that's good enough you know like use what you have I understand that we all don't have the same 
financial situation so some people may afford to get very fancy items to give as offerings to deities like you know um 100 dollar bottles of alcohol or whatever it's like not everyone has that type of money so don't feel pressurized to get super expensive things always use what what you have the deities will appreciate it in any case so yeah i just wanted to show you guys the setup that you could use when wanting to make your own um setup for a deity for any type of entity that you're interested in working with research a little bit about the entity and you know get a feel for them get a feel for their energy and what you what it is you feel like they would enjoy having on 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 their altar and you know have fun with it as i said so that is my video for today guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this and i will see you guys in my next video take care and bye